All right, Ian. Um, CD Project Red recently apologized since their uh, launch of Cyberpunk 2077 has been. We'll just call it a little bit uh, bumpy. Yeah, definitely bumpy, and um, that's kind of what I was alluding to last week. So if you're playing it on a PC, apparently, uh, you know, people... Master Race PC. People, I hate that. Um, <clears throat> if you're playing it on PC, apparently you're having about as good of a time as you can. If, if you, uh, There are people who think the story sucks, there are people who think that certain things are generic, but it's playing at least how it, it's nice it, 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 it looks great smooth it, it, it play it looks nicely it plays the way it should um and then you know all the other you know the, the review at that point comes down to what you feel about the story the mechanics and things like that but at least those people are, be, are able to play it um apparently though anyone playing it on a playstation 4 or an xbox one is having a much less than stellar time especially the base the base console. especially the base units um and people are saying that it's full of bugs uh crashes hard crashes i've seen lots of uh, pictures where it looks like the models never fully kind of like load into the game they look like playstation 3 quality graphics really so it's like it's getting them in kind of gradually <laughs> yeah like an old jpeg in the 90s loading up layer by layer it does look very very poor so few things that i really want to touch on here there's a lot of things to say but it, first we'll start with uh CDPR's uh, apology on their now notorious yellow background that no one ever wants to see. Yeah, don't 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 go black on yellow background. That's hard to read. Dear gamers, first of all, we would like to start God. by apologizing to you for not showing the game on base last gen consoles before it premiered, mm -hmm. and in consequence, not allowing you to make a more informed decision about your purchase. We should have paid more attention to making it play better on PlayStation 4 so, and Xbox One. This is the real crux, and yeah. everything after it means nothing to me, really. So I guess I guess that they were not allowing reviews of the PS4 and regular Xbox One. They were not showing it on PlayStation 4 or Xbox One. They were not allowing uh, reviews of it on PlayStation 4 or Xbox One. Um, and a lot of people think now that this has come out... That's why. This is why... Uh, well, no, that, but this is also why people... They didn't want people streaming it if you got the game early. Oh, is that why? Was okay. Because a lot of people were playing it on these... these base systems and it, yeah, it had nothing to do with the story people can easily be like oh i don't want spoilers thanks i cannot okay. watch the cover. stream okay yeah that's the cover for no we don't want people seeing that it, it run it, it basically doesn't run we don't want people streaming it to you know a thousand people and being like wow why isn't this broken this game so they go on to say this this middle part i'm not going to read verbatim but the middle part basically details how there is a number of patches coming there's going to be a large patch in january another large patch in february mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It won't make the game, they say it won't make the game on last gen look like it's running on a high spec PC or an extra gen console, but it will be closer to that experience than it is now. Then they go on to say, this I'll, I'll read uh, word for word. Finally, we would always like everyone who buys our games to be satisfied with their purchase. We would appreciate it if you would give us a chance, but if you are not pleased with the game on your console and don't want to wait for updates, you can opt okay. to refund your copy. <clears throat> For copies purchased digitally, please use the refund system of PSN or Xbox, respectively. For boxed versions, please first try to get a refund at the store where you bought the game. Yeah. Should this not be possible, please contact us and we will do our best to help you. Starting from today, you can contact us for a week up until December 21st. So the reason I wanted to bring that up is <clears throat> before we even get into the loads of problems here, there was an update... Uh, this morning uh, on update Kotaku uh, about an hour ago. Um, so oh, I didn't see that. Is that okay? Is that uh, CD Projekt Red managers clarified that refunds for Cyberpunk 2077 will be subject to existing retailer policies. Well, sure, they can't. They can't. They can't tell Walmart what to do. No, they can't. <laughs> During a call with investors yesterday, and said the company is not encouraging, is not encouraging anyone to return the game. Um, right, and I think anyone smart would realize that, but in that very apology, they made it sound like there was some sort of special thing going on to get refunds. They did. They made it sound like, go get, we, we're, 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 they made it sound like we're working something out. Go refund your game. 
Um, and apparently, they, I mean, they, they're saying that to cover their ass. They well, know that they need they need the money, and apparently the investors were not particularly pleased with I them would've... telling people to go get refunds. I would say, hey, give money back. If I've been waiting for this game to come out and get my money back for, for seven years on it. So, I mean... They're it, in a tough spot, though, because obviously this game has been delayed a long time. It's been... Uh, uh, we, we talked about yesterday on the phone. The, 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 the trailer, first trailer we saw was like four years ago for this game. It was announced in 2012. Uh, I don't I don't remember seeing anything on it until we got that trailer in 2016. Sure. And now it comes out, and obviously it sold a lot. I think they already read that they turned a profit it seemed like in the first day or so. So it's selling well, obviously, because all the hype. But now you have a portion of, of the people. If you want to go percentages, I'd say, say half the 41, people. I think. I, I, read it, I read it somewhere that 41% of the this, people playing it are playing it on last-gen last gen hardware. Not just the base, but I include the PS4 Pro. I think that's including the, PS, yeah, the PS4 Pro and One Xbox X. One X. Which, from what I read, was a little bit better, but still not great. Because yes. like it, it, obviously those are a little more horsepower, but it's still not great. So you have, you have 40% potentially pissed in some form or another that got this game. And that includes the day the, the, the day zero patch, whatever, I think I saw Josh from Living Run say it was like 50 gigs or whatever, something ridiculous. Right. So it's like you have this patch, probably to get the, to get the game playable, because we can't fit it all in the disc potentially, or we have, we have updates after it went gold. That doesn't help it function as a game though for a lot of people still. And a game that they developed on last gen hardware for the last gen. That's, that's, what, that's what the weird thing is that- well, started. Yeah, yeah, but like, when, but when you start something in 2013, right? That's for the PS4 and the, and the Xbox One. So how does it not function? Like, what what happened in, in the development process where we can't have it even function properly? Yeah, I have a few points. I mean, one. So the first part of that apology, the um, the not showing it on PlayStation Four and Xbox One, that's a little bit different than a game not living up to expectations. That's that's um that's not showing a game that's broke basically that, 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 broke. That, that, that's that's outright yeah. uh, deception yeah that's outright deception sure. um you did that because you knew that people would cancel their pre-orders and you would not make the money uh, there's no excuse for that Absolutely. i mean that, that's no. absolute bullshit i i mean that is no. really yeah. really bad they and, knew it was gonna be bad it's right. just like we have to make the money and yeah. I, 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 and because I, I have to be honest, don't go out there and harass them. But I don't feel bad for the situation they're in right now in terms of this situation where with the refunds, you should have been more forthcoming. You, you had to know that this was going to end very, very oh, poorly. Oh, yeah. If you put out, yes, I'm not saying this was, this would excuse it, but if you put out something saying, hey, if you're running a, reg a regular Xbox or PS4, you're going to have issues for a while. Just to give you a heads up, we wanted to get this out before Christmas. We, we didn't want this to launch on the on the, the next gen before the, the previous gen. That'd be weird to do that. You're going to have issues. I'm not saying that would have been great. That would have been better than waiting for the issues to come out and then saying, oh, try to get a refund. They should have given you a heads up. This is not where we want it to be. But we, wanted, we didn't want to delay and disappoint you. A little PR goes a long way. I, we always come back to that. A little transparency. You don't let it get to this point where... I see people reviewing it and being like, well, it's barely playable on a base PS4, so why you, you can't get it. Because then obviously, if they had reviewed this, this is where we're at right now. This is, this is, this is, where, this is the weird point we're at now. And this is going to be the first time where we're going to see a point where a console game comes out and, and the console that it's supposed to be supported on it does not support it. It's, too, it's, it's not good enough to support it. Um... So we're at the point we were talking about where these consoles are now PCs. They're definitely PCs now because you can buy a high-end game and run an old PC. It'll run. It'll just run like shit. And that's where we're at with consoles, unfortunately. And consoles is supposed to always be you're protected from that. You don't have to worry. If it says it runs right. on a PS4, it runs on a PS4, and I don't have to worry about any bullshit. That's gone now. We, are, we, have, so, we have crossed the, the Rubicon. It's that, done. That was going to be one of my later points, yeah. but I, I, I'll bring it up now. Is um, There are a lot of people out there, uh, people who, for not receiving any money to defend CD Projekt Red, have certainly made it their job. And I don't understand fanboying to that, that degree. Um, however, there's I, I've seen plenty of people on Twitter in the comment section, people talking about how it's not working on their PS4. And they're like, well, what did you expect? You're running it on a base model PS4. And I, I my response to that is, 
for a number of reasons, I would expect it to run because that's why you buy into a console infrastructure. It, well, it's released on the PS4. Right. It says PS4 on it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You would expect it to run. This is not a piece... It, it, consoles up until this point, and obviously we've seen this going away, but this has always been my argument for consoles, is that the benefit of a console is you may get a you may get reduced graphics. The graphics may not be the best. You may not have ray tracing. It may not look like it looks on a high-end PC at you know maximum levels sure. for everything. But you are going to be able to buy it, drop it into your system, and it runs. My other point is, and you already kind of brought this up, uh, this game was originally supposed to be out in April. April. It was delayed twice after that. Um but it was supposed to be out in April, and obviously there were things that needed to be done, but how much of that delay was, shit, we cannot release this and not have... It would have been worse. Yeah, we can't release this and not have next-generation systems out there, because otherwise it's going to look like the PC game cannot find, and our entire console launch is going to be... Garbage. ...disastrous. Yes. Now, because, because, now because, because it's been delayed yeah. to... And that's what's so frustrating. Now that it was delayed to the point that the new consoles are out, now you have all of these defenders being like well you shouldn't be playing it on the last gen hardware well if this had come out when it was supposed to have come out it would have that been would have been the yeah. only option that PC. or pc yeah no and, and you look at it well if it's barely functional now what was it back in april it probably was broken and right. they, they needed seven extra months six extra months in order to get it to this point so this was the alternative i guess because you, i guess you could have just delayed the last gen and be like we can't put out the xbox one and the ps4 that would have pissed off people as well but maybe that would have been better. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Just delay it for, what is this? This patch is coming out next year, so delay it for a couple more months. Or six weeks, at least. Because this, this is, I, I don't remember a case where this happened, where a game of this stature comes out and it's like, it's almost broken on a console. So this opens up a lot of other avenues for discussion, and one of them is... Um... You know, people were talking about how uh, this is the fans' fault for, you know, demanding, you know, flipping out every time that CDPR has a delay and then, you know, CDPR finally releases it and now fans are flipping out. Um, to the people who flipped out over a delay, I think those people definitely need to calm down. I'm happy with a company delaying a game until they think it's it's ready to, to release. Sure. But I, I, you can't just blame the consumer base for this. You have to have some responsibility placed upon CDPR and the team. And what that comes down, you know, and people's response to that is always, well, they were making a big ambitious game. And after looking at games like this come out and have issues like this, um, Maybe not every game needs to be a big open world adventure. When we see stuff like this happen, or like Assassin's Creed launches where there's tons of bugs, I, I don't want to sound negative, too negative here, but maybe we need to rein it in a little bit. Maybe we need to take some of these pie in the sky ideas and actually work within the limitations that we have. Mm. If you don't have a team that can put this game out like that, then don't make this game. Make a smaller game. Make a different game. Yeah, but I mean, I mean, God, they have, they even said this, uh, they have an investor call, so they have people pumping tons of money in this because they want. No, this to I, be what a I'm GTA. saying is we shouldn't even get to this point. Hey, it's a business, right? So, so we have this great idea. We want this to be, you know, the, the basically the the, the, the basically the the, the the futuristic GTA. We'll just say that's what basically they want it to be. They want it to make tens of millions of dollars, if not hundreds of millions of dollars. Um, and they take a gamble, and it's several years, and a lot of people's you know lives change doing that. I get that. You want to put out your dream project, so I'm not poo pooing that. But obviously, this was you know, this was not obviously handled well because we do not see stuff like this with this many issues with Rockstar stuff to this extent. And people, I'm not saying don't chase uh, your dreams. I'm saying don't hype yourself to the moon and don't well, don't bite off more than you can chew. <laughs> well, that's that's like a lot of art though. You, people go nuts whether it's movies or TVs, and they can't do it. Um, there's a, but, but, but I mean, if, if this, if they get this patched up, that then, then obviously it'd be all right, but it's, it's going to be months after people bought this. And unfortunately people can't find PS fives and X and, and Xbox uh, series S or X. I hear it runs all right on the S, but obviously you need the X for the full experience. Um, if people can't find that, they want to play now. And plus not everyone has $500 to drop on a new console or, 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 or a thousand for scout. What if I just bought a PS four? Uh, a year ago, I don't have the money to necessarily buy uh, the PS5. 
So you have to, if it's going to come out on all the consoles, it better support it, especially since there, there's a lot more people. There's a lot more people that have a PS4 than a PS5, obviously. So it just makes sense, business sense, that you want it working on the console where the most people are buying it as well, from that perspective. So maybe they should have delayed it. So you know what? We, I know we delayed it three times. We're going to delay it. This is what I, this, this goes back to everything. How about we stop giving a new date and just say, we're going to delay it and we'll just let you know when it's coming out. How about we just do that for this stuff? Don't set firm dates that you keep rolling over again. Nintendo did it with Metroid 4. Yes, there's like, we don't know what's going to come They're out. Like, we know, fucked up. Woo, all right. So now when Nintendo, that's the last time you ever see a Nintendo in development probably trailer ever again. Yeah. Now it's going to be, hey, Super Mario, Mario Odyssey, here's the trailer. It comes out in like a month and a half or two months because it's done. That's how these companies should handle that. I think the longest lead time I, I've seen on a game for the Switch from Nintendo was Fire Emblem Three Houses. I think they announced like six months ahead of time. Mm -hmm. And uh, obviously the sequel to Breath of the Wild they announced like last year. And that's going to be another little while. But um, for the most part, they've been doing very short lead times between announcement sure. and release. And uh, obviously they're announcing these things when, you know, I'd say the game is just about probably ready to go gold. Yeah, because that Metroid Prime embarrassment, that was three years ago when they announced it already. Right. Three years ago, and we still don't know when that game's coming out. But you will not hear about it again, I guarantee you, until it's ready. Because Nintendo, that was an embarrassment to Nintendo from the say, we had to throw out an entire game you know, development that we have and start all over from scratch after we said it was in development. Uh, but, one last thing I'll say about this that I think is interesting, uh, and I mean, obviously... I, I have no faith really in Stadia, but there are a lot of reports out there that Stadia is currently the best way to play. Uh, the best? Cyberpunk. The best. Uh, Not the, I didn't well, say the best. The, the, I mean, Better. A, 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 a very reasonable way reasonable. to play Cyberpunk if you don't want to spend, with the, it should be obvious, the asterisk, if you don't want to go spend a ton of money on a, a high-end computer. So, not, if, I, so if, I wanna, if I wanna play it myself and not have a high-end computer or console, I can just buy it on Stadia for 60 bucks. Yeah, and I mean, I still have no real interest in Stadia, but apparently if you have a decent Stadia connection, you are going to get graphics that are similar to a PC setup and without the bugs and problems of the console experience. So, so they're running obviously a PC version or whatever on their servers and they're streaming right. it to you. So, so that makes sense. So that's well, interesting. If you have a good connection, like uh, for me, I, I have a fiber optic. I'd be have to play through Wi-Fi on my on my TV. You know, maybe I give it a try. Maybe if there's a way to demo it, maybe I'd give it a try. I say, okay, this is good enough for me to, to you know to do it if I have a fast enough connection. There you go. That's the first positive Stadia news besides uh, Pac-Man, uh, the, <laughs> the new Pac-Man game that we have in quite a bit. So, all right, anything else to add here? I, I, again, we've crossed the Rubicon. That's, I'll say that again. Now we're in uncharted territory with these new releases. Because now you have, for the PS4, you know, you have, what, three different consoles to worry about? You got the PS4, PS4 Pro, PS5 releases. For the Xbox, you have, what, three or four different versions with the same games that come out in three or four different consoles. But it's going to be a different playing experience to all and not everyone, to, the, and to those people saying, well, what about the, what did you expect? Many people are casual. They're not following all the differences between this shit. They're not on Twitter. They're not following the releases. They want to buy their kid. Hey, mom, get me Cyberpunk for my PS4. Okay, Johnny, I'm going to buy it. Now the kid's crying because the game's shit. That's not on the parent. That's on the people making the product. I mean, it's an M-rated game. I don't know that any kids are really crying about it. If you see what I'm saying? If, I'm just saying. If they're crying about it, they should. Imagine you, for Christmas, you wanted a game. You don't think a kid's asking for Cyberpunk for Christmas? A 15-year-old? Dude, I'm joking around. Yeah. But I'm just saying, though, like, imagine getting a game and you can't play it. Yes. And now mom and dad are like, I, I don't know. It said it was for the system. You're going to have to deal with that in some probably form fashion in the future for these used versions. Well, it's not going to be able to play on the But on luckily, this, so. we're not yeah. selling it new. So, I mean, it'll but, just be, a, yeah, you have a three-day exchange. But think about the nightmare in the future where when stuff is still physical in some form. And okay, okay. Oh yeah, we we got Cyberpunk for for the for the PS4, but you don't can't really play it in that version of the PS4. Make sure you get the PS4 Pro to play it. But really, it's going to be bad. Sure. 